This painting behind me is the Undiscovered History of New Orleans, uh, 2019, and it epitomizes John Isaiah's uh, current style. Uh, it's, a, it's a very vibrant, brightly colored um, work uh, with, with a deep narrative. Um, you know, John Isaiah's work comes out of neo-expressionism, social expressionism, and uh, urban street art, really. And neo-expressionism is really known for the rough handling of the surface and kind of hyper-subjective subject matter. Uh, sometimes John takes his subjective subject matter to the point of code, code writing, like Basquiat did, like Keith Haring. Um, and in this piece, he's uh, addressing issues current to New Orleans uh, history, and that's the removal of the Confederate monuments. With this piece, you'll see uh, he's using the language of computers uh, to write the code, the code that the, the viewer really has to crack to, to really understand this piece. Um, so here we have the placement of the four Confederate monuments that the city was struggling with removing at the time. Um, and in the top left corner, you see he's used this computer language, the language of gaming. Um, warnings, material shall be removed. Well, that was really the question the city was grappling with, whether to save or delete uh, these monuments. Um, you see the, the loading sign here dealing with this crane, which ultimately removed uh, the Robert E. Lee sculpture that lorded over the city of New Orleans for many, many years. Um, and also in the top left corner, you'll see the component symbol for slave. This is a computer symbol. Um, in, the, in the language of computers, it means slave. And he's placed that symbol here in Algiers. Algiers is the neighborhood where many of the slaves were held prior to being brought over and sold uh, in places like the French Quarter. So he's got this symbol of the slave here, along with this universal symbol of water running along the Mississippi River. He's got all of the neighborhoods spelled out. Uh, Gentilly, Lakeview, Esplanade Ridge, <coughs> New Orleans East. And in New Orleans East, you'll see the continuation of a previous series of John's work, uh, where he, he's dealing with um, Six Flags New Orleans here. So you have the, the old amusement park that's kind of been lost under the water here in New Orleans East. Um, and Banner Chevrolet. Now, this highly subjective subject matter uh, sometimes becomes so personal that you need to know a little personal history uh, to, to get these symbols. Well, uh, when, when John was a young man, Banner Chevrolet was in the East, uh, and you see this Banner Chevrolet on Yosemite Sam, uh, and Yosemite Sam was the, the mascot for this car dealership. Well, in, in this uh, iteration, this is not actually Yosemite Sam, because you see he's got the gray hair and almost the, the blue uniform um, of um, uh, Confederate general. So this is actually Robert E. Lee masking himself as Yosemite Sam. And the same X's in his eyes mark the X's where these Confederate uh, monuments uh, used to stand. Uh, so again, deep narrative, speaking in highly subjective kind of personal code uh, in line with neo-expressionism. You've got the rough handling of the surface uh, and very, very bright colors, uh, this indicative of John Isaiah's style.